Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Mike Green, and this is where we talk about everything to do with antique wooden boats. Today we're going to be going through some tips and tricks on how to paint deck stripes. So let's get to it. This is a 1936 25 foot garwood that we were in the process of restoring. You can see that the deck stripes were cut in, but the staining and varnishing didn't happen yet. This is after. This is uh, after we put probably about 25 coats of varnish on it. And you notice that the deck stripes are brown and not white. And that's the way this boat originally came from the factory. This is a 1955 Chris Craft Cobra that we did uh, with white deck stripes. We try to get those deck stripes as thin as possible. And that's kind of the way that the fact came from the factory. They were thin back in those days. And some boats from Chris Craft didn't come with stripes at all. This is a 1959 silver arrow uh, that we are still working on. We're almost done with the boat. Um, we got a little bit left to go. These are some of the supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need some brushing thinner, obviously paint, white paint or whatever color your deck stripes are. You're going to need some tape, a uh, artist brush, a little container, and then a scraper to burnish down. So the first thing you're going to want to do is grab yourself some tape and tape off the deck seams. You can see that I'm starting from one end and I'm also using my back hand to steer back and forth just so I can get that tape right next to the line. This uh, hatch that we are doing, the engine cover, we already taped some of them obviously so you, as you can see. and. Um, this had been done before. We just repaired some of the deck stripes and then re-varnished the whole thing. So um, you want to make sure that you want to get that tape really close to the deck seams and as straight as, as you can, pulling back on it just to create some tension and just laying it down next to the stripe. Start on your next one. On the other side, doing the same thing, getting it as close as you can. And you want to try to make sure that that spacing is nice and even uh, when you're doing it. I like to go ahead and do the whole area, taping it off. If it was on a deck of a boat, I'd do one half of the deck first, tape that off, and then tape the other side of the deck, and then paint one side, remove the tape, and then paint the other. Once you got all the taping done, you're going to want to make sure you really burnish down that tape really well. This is the key right here to uh, getting a nice crisp lines. We've used a bunch of different tape over the years and we found that the blue tape is, is the best, the 3M. Um, there is other fine line tapes out there that give you a nice crisp line. But what happens is they stick to the varnish so much that when you're removing the tape, you're really worried about pulling up some of the varnish and that you do not want to do. So uh, over the years, we've, we've found that the blue tape works really good. You want to make sure that your ends are burnished down really well. I usually go over it with the scraper and then go over it with my fingers. And just really, you can't do it too much. So um, just burnish down that tape really well. And then um, make sure you clean up afterwards. You can wipe it down with a rag and a little bit of thinner. Or get some of your oils from your fingers if you, if you got some greasy fingers on there. So You want to pour some paint in a little cup. It's easier to hang on to and easier to work out of uh, getting your brush in and out. Now it's time to paint the deck stripes. I use a little artist brush working from one end to the other. I make sure that there's enough paint on the surface so it's not transparent. If you get too little of paint on there, what will happen is, is you'll be able to see uh, down inside underneath the white and see some of the darker stripes if you're using um, Sika Flex that's mahogany colored which we often do uh, instead of the white Sika Flex. 
just making sure you put enough paint on there to cover the whole area. I always start from one end to the other and just like varnishing you want to keep a wet edge and then brush back through and make sure that it's a nice even coat. Want to make sure you get your ends really good. And just getting a nice even coat on there. Do your next stripe. Same way. All the way through. Nice even strokes. Filling up that line. I usually let the tape sit on there for at least 10-15 minutes. So what I'll usually do if it's on a large deck of a boat, I'll do I'll paint about five or six deck stripes. And then before I start in the other ones, I'll remove about two or three lines of the tape. There's a couple reasons why you want to do it, remove the tape while the paint is wet. You want it tacky, but you don't want it completely dry. If there's any reason that you ever have to repair one of your deck seams, the paint didn't come out right, you can do so. You can actually take a paper towel with thinner on it and you can basically wipe that off. If it was dry, you wouldn't be able to do that. And so um, that's one helpful tip. The other one, if there's any little blemishes and mistakes, I'll show you later that uh, you can go ahead and fix those. Remember to get enough paint on there. Nice and even coat. Brushing back through. Get your ends really good. And she'll come out beautiful. So if you like what you're seeing so far, make sure you hit the like button. And also hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. Where we'll be going through some other useful tips on working on your antique wooden boat. Also, if there's something you'd like to see, comment below. And we'll see if we can't make a video uh, to help you out. I want to also let you know that everything you see on here, we've done at our shop, Maritime Classics. Uh, we won't ever put a boat on here that we haven't worked on. And if we do, we'll definitely give credit to the person that did it. So here we are. I've removed some of the tape already very carefully. What you want to do is grab the end of it. And instead of pulling straight up, pull down and away. Nice and slow. Making sure you're pushing down and away. That way you have a less chance of pulling that varnish up. Uh, if for some reason that the varnish wasn't adhered properly, there could have been a coat, maybe five, ten coats prior, that wasn't adhered very well. And if you pull straight up, you're going to possibly pull the varnish off. Also, keep your hands real clean. I have a little paper towel in my pocket. Every time I do that, every time I pull a piece of that tape, I'll wipe my fingers off, making sure I don't have any paint on my fingers. Once again, just nice down and away. So you want to make sure that your hands are nice and clean. We're going to take this paper towel and we're going to clean up some of the edges. Just add a little bit of thinner onto your paper towel. You don't want too much, you don't want it runny, so fold that over, let it soak up really good. I usually fold it over so I just get a tip of the paper towel and then I'll go ahead and try to clean up some of those edges of the line. What sometimes happens is as it goes over the corner, it will bleed out a little bit right there. And so I'm just touching up the paint, just cleaning it up a little bit. It's nice to do that when the paint is wet. You won't be able to do it if it dries. So um, clean those little areas up. If for some reason that you had tape bleed, uh, paint bleed through on the tape, say in the middle of the 
deck stripe on the deck. You can clean those up. If it gets too bad though, what you can do is take some thinner in a rag and literally just wipe the whole deck stripe right off. But what you want to do then is just let the deck stripes completely dry and come back and fix that one the next day. You should l let that paint dry at least 24 hours before you even, you know, whether you're going to polish the boat or put the deck hardware on, make sure those deck stripes are dry really well. So there you have it, how to paint deck stripes. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, leave some comments below, hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel for more how-tos on wooden boat restorations. If you have any suggestions for other videos, leave those in the comments below and we'll see if we can't get to them. Hope this was helpful again. Have a great day.